Oh, there's nobody here. You're like, we're recording. Oh, Dios oh Um. <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> you ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people meet unkindness themselves. You best be careful out there. I, I fell right into the demon's trap. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, what do I scream for? I don't even know why I screamed. <laughs> No, 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 no! If it's as loud as this right here, I'm sorry, Lecky, you will not be heard when I'm screaming because everything's gonna <laughs> overpower you, correct? On top of that, I have yet to uh, play a single, single Fierce to Fathom game. So, basically, Lecky already told me that it's a standalone game, so if I get spoiled by anything, it's her fault. <laughs> not, it's not true. It's basically true. She brought me here. She put me in this position and I'm going to take it like a man. So this is episode five. So that's, that's you know, these games ain't so bad. I played that one game with Hannah. I don't remember what it's called. I don't know. You played it for your I'm Not for your I need coffee to get uh, done with the day. <gasps> I have no battery. What is this? Is there a pause button? <laughs> Is, is there a pause? <laughs> no, Lecky, I don't think so. Lecky, so you have to listen to you being mute the whole entire time? Hello. Okay. So, we're gonna go get our co-op. Is that somebody's- oh, it's a desk! <laughs> Girl, I don't know what I was looking, expecting. Why is it so dark? Dude, this feels so realistic. People are walking in everything. I would jump out this window right now if it wasn't for the window being in my way. <laughs> Supply room. You would if something's chasing you. Can we run? We can't run. Okay, we're, we're gonna go get our coffee and it's clearly not in the supply room because why would... <gasps> oh, we're in the kitchen. Why is there a limp in the kitchen? This is like a whole kitchen, like a one at home, like a house home. Like, if you really look at this, you feel like you're at home and not at work. Oh my God. And this is the break room with just two chairs? Jeez. I would actually like, this does not feel very comfortable from workers. No, for real. There we go. Oh, we need a filter. I got a cup, put the cup, put the cup. I don't know how to make coffee, so. I don't either, so we water. need some water. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta cut the screen to get some water. Oh, and then we put the coffee, coffee cup and then I'm making some coffee. It's that it's easy. Coffee. Why is it red? Why is it red? Maybe just the angle of it. Okay, I don't want no more. I need to put on a lid. We don't need it to put on the lid. We just need to just drink it. Well, if it spills. Shake it up, we gotta shake it up a little bit. Make sure it's all mixed accordingly. <gasps> Why is that so cute? I'm gonna keep sipping. <laughs> I'm gonna sip in my coffee. Needed to use restroom, but like right after you make the coffee. Hey. Oh, it's a person. Hey, you want some coffee? I made some hot coffee in the kitchen. You want some coffee? It's delicious. Can you go under desk? Oh. <laughs> hey, worker. What you doing here? What you working on? Playing solitaire? That is not solitaire. <laughs> Leave him alone. He likes solitaire. We get a big ass bathroom and we <laughs> get a little tiny kitchen for two people. Is it just us two working? Oh, am I a woman or a man? It's a, I'm a woman, right? Well, let's hope so. Dang, we looking mighty fine today. Took my coffee to the bathroom and everything. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. It's my coffee cup. Um, This is the cleanest one, but I'm going to choose the dirtiest one. Okay, Thank you can throw you. it. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> gonna, <laughs> gotta flush it down the toilet. Oh, what the heck? These toilets are nasty. Nasty. Here. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on my cup. <laughs> I gotta oh. Oh, I'm peeing. Okay, this is this is glorious. I am definitely a woman. Oh. oh. Someone, someone, someone's in the bathroom right now. You hear him? They're walking oh. here. The hump the, the like um Look up. <laughs> Girl, oh. don't, don't <laughs> I, was just, I was expecting this look to be there. <sighs> You know what? That better be my coworker. Wait a minute, it better not be my coworker. He's um a man. Oh, there's nobody here. Yeah, like oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the janitor. Why are you waiting on me to pee? Whoa, ma'am, sorry, you didn't know anyone was in here. You almost gave me a heart attack. You did give me a heart attack, actually. I'm so sorry. It sh should have knocked before I came in, but there isn't usually anyone in this in here this late. I know he had to come from the front door and he's clear as day. He watched me walk into this bathroom. This guy's a creep. Yeah, you should have knocked. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry, I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit fr uh, frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the official office. <laughs> it's been happening for weeks. Okay, That's really rude. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. But 
you're not gonna grab your quaffy? Yeah, I guess I'll take it with me. Can I sip it? Hey, don't forget this cup. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me! I'm sorry, sir. I'll pick up my coffee cup. Oh, well, here, look, I disposed it for you. Okay, well, it's floating in there, so that's the closest I can get to the trash. Thank you. That's Have a good night. night. Hey, Tim. Tim, did you not want no coffee? Tim, why are you telling me a generous coffee? Oh, what do you want? My name is Sydney, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get this done. I was just yeah, checking if you need anything. Can't this client ever make up their minds? I know. What keeps us here so late? Just wrapping up. Just found out I was in the report. Can I get more coffee? I dropped mine on the floor. <laughs> in the toilet. And I sat on it. Isn't it kind of late for coffee though? Like, oh, is it early in the morning? What was that? Did you what? see that? No. Maybe I'm just tripping. Maybe I'm just paranoid for that gender jump scaring me. I'm gonna answer my phone. Going for sleep. Hey, Arp, it's Mike. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Yeah, my phone's been oh, completely. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, Silent Jimmy. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Silent uh, Jimmy Anyway, <laughs> uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. It's been overwhelming Damn, lately. Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um, <laughs> it sounds like me. About our like... trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? It's like us having a Just conversation. really wanted to see you. <laughs> and Nora. Ooh, Nora seems like she's not interested in... Wait, how do I put this? After work? No! I'm a bit what this annoyed about me calling. Seriously, Harp, if this is a bad time. Brett, why are you calling me at work? I got work to do. I'm gonna be here late because of you. That's the Sydney Harper I know. I'm sorry if I was being pushy. Hey, <laughs> I'm being rude to Mike. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. Oh, he wants nice this. Nice to catch up. <laughs> you know, this. save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike <sighs> and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Sure. Great. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Thank you. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under a hundred dollars a night. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. <laughs> Things haven't been going very well for her. <laughs> I'm not. He don't need to be telling me what to do with my money, okay? And on top of that, can he not read the room? I'm not interested. Why? Wait, Frank, I forgot. I'm quite frank about it, you know what I mean? It's I don't like, trust him. I don't trust him either. Like, he's all in my business, and he's throwing, like, oh, and, and Nora, like, don't. <laughs> oh, he said it was, like, saving on gas, but, like, how is that saving gas for well, anything? What was I supposed to be booking? Um, a hotel, I think. Oh my god! A game within a game! I'm down. <gasps> Aliens! I- wait, uh... Your familia. Uh, I can't smell, wait. Air. That's cool. Well, that sounds pretty cool, but I asked for a spelling bee. Poor wing. <laughs> Look at me eating this. Ah, this is my job for the day. I'm paying- I'm working overtime. <laughs> Saving the world from aliens. How? Ah! I don't care like that. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> he, he wants this too. That's supposed to the guy that's fighting with me on the phone. View? What? View? Million? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Ow! Get me out of here. <laughs> I took damage, so I'm going back to work. Can I type in Google? I'm feeling unlucky. Oh. <laughs> Let's search the internet for the rental cabin. <laughs> Rent a cabin. Find your place to stay. Rent a cabin. Uh, let's see. I'm going to Woodbury. <laughs> Shut up, buddy. You didn't see that. Oh, for three fifty a night? Two fifty nine. He said under a hundred. Oh, it got a two star review though. He's got look at these reviews. These are nice. Look at this one. It's given Sim. Um, I guess I choose this one. But I'm poor and I hung up on him. So let's go this one. <laughs> it was over our budget. Are we together? Like, are we dating? Cause That's I'm very more. rude. <laughs> like, what's our relationship? Yeah, like, do I need to leave him? No, I'm just being preppy. I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I it was rushed. <laughs> when I was in the early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant joke of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. Girl, that's real life. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place one of those days. One of the college friends, Mike, suggested that we have a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Okay, first of all, if you're a college friend, your name is Mike. <laughs> no. 
which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We went a small cabin. <laughs> went. <laughs> Close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Mike, okay, he's not interested in Nora coming. And Nora is, um, she's gonna die. Two days later. Um, what's going on? <laughs> Michael Carter. Pulling into the parking garage now. Oh, um, yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Uh, just book. Did you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? We definitely hate Mike. Yo, Harp, how you been? Mike, I'm literally so tired. I was just about to turn in for the night. What about you? Not much, just keeping a friend Oh, just keeping things afloat, my friend. Here's the work at the new firm. And that's exactly where you should come. Think of it this way, Cindy Harper. Okay, first of all, don't say my name. Clearly, we're not interested. Like, get off my freaking stuff. Help, help, I've been kidnapped. I gotta start a new game. I have to go back to the bathroom. God oh, dang it. Yeah. Part two of A View the Fathom, episode five. Woodbury getaway. Back in the time when I was at the office at work, when I was thinking about work here, work there, work everywhere. Up here, this here, but this here. <laughs> I think I'm looking. No, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't do it, but it's close enough if you think about it. It was an attempt. <laughs> it sure was something. Damn. <laughs> the door is rude. I'm gonna put all the stalls up. Ooh. Scroll up to open. Oh. <laughs> okay, get a random drink from the toilet and drink it. Listen, you don't judge me, I don't judge you. We're thirsty, okay? No, I'm judging. I'm so judging. <laughs> How does he not know someone's in here? Like, I don't believe that. I'm literally- You're telling me he didn't hear the liquid <laughs> in the toilet? The liquid in the toilet? I'm saying, like, I'm literally peeing. You need to stop that right now! Oh. I'd rather be in the alien game again, because this is not right. What are you looking at? Why are you so happy? I guess you accidentally clicked it before. Oh. Off my phone, bruh. Pulling into the parking garage now. Okay. I'm following this afternoon. Quite chilly today, yeah? Yeah. I've seen you around, but haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. <laughs> I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. That's right. I thought so. I've been you. I've been. <laughs> Let's read this. I've seen you a few times getting off at the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. What about you? I work as a consulting firm downtown oh, oh I see, I see. <laughs> anyways, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have a great rest of your day I need to get some groceries groceries before the snow starts you too it's just a cheery guy he's so cheery but I don't know don't forget what to get from my luggage this is my car yeah <laughs> I doubt it I doubt it he said he just pulled in I don't know I don't trust this dude he might be left me happy but he sure was staring at me hard like dang give me some room to breathe um, <laughs> you didn't do that. <laughs> what was that? Mike, what's up? Here's my luggage. Take it in there, please. Mike, pick up my luggage. Oh, heart. Uh, why wow, Loki looking like Tyler? <laughs> Tyler Loki. Here's a hug. That's still how you hug people? Just a test hug to see if you're smelt first. Um... <laughs> Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for <laughs> Sydney Harbor. You can just throw your stuff in the bag and we'll go on our way. <laughs> I am an independent woman. I don't need love from anybody right now. I think, why are you watching me? How do these All things right, not then. fly out? That's what I'm saying. There's nothing to hold it down. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Yeah. <laughs> you should have asked where's Nora. Oh. Wait, sir, I need to talk to you about something. I have a question. Sir, I have a question. Hey. You not read the options? I did, but then I saw the word not, and I'm trying to reject this guy. He needs to get the hint. He needs to know that I'm not interested in him. What if Nora doesn't show up now? What if he actually just, he he's, he's like, she never actually was going to come in the first place. He just used an excuse, and we'll never know. Exactly. We're never going to get the Nora lore. <laughs> because of you. I'm sorry. Not Hermione, yo. I'm sorry. Nora can't fit in this truck anyway. Uh, we're going to put her in the back. It was starting yes. to snow. Rit rhymes. Just in my lap. It was actually a gift from my coworker Ricky. Ah, said he found it at the garage sale and it reminded him of me somehow. I can see a little bit of resemblance. It's the ex it's the cowboy spirit, I guess. He, I feel like he looks like someone, like not Tyler, but somebody else that I just cannot think of. 
it rhymes. Harp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are. Funny how that works. We're trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. Funny how that works. Changes is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. How's your new job going? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you've been shaping your future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what to do. <laughs> like you just start reading at this point. <laughs> I never understood what do. Oh, hold on. We got do. we got a message from Mike Wilson. I mean Rick Wilson. No, it's Rick Wilson. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm gonna explain. That sounds like important work. Okay, I got a message. Um, It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received the confirm. Well, I'm trying to read. <laughs> well, what are we looking at the school bus for? Did you, did you see that? Did you see that school bus? <laughs> see what? There was a school bus. Maybe it's a project. Okay, hold on, Rick, Rick Wilson. <laughs> you know someone's idea of turning in into a tiny home on wheels or something. I know I heard of that before. I read people to do that on the internet. Okay, now I'm trying to talk to Mike Wilson. We're on our way around Chibiba there about 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down a bit, quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Oh, okay, please confirm when you check in and travel, please. It's a moose! Oh snap, that was close. It came out of nowhere. You know? I read on the internet that it's Native American's lore seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. I thought it was a cow. You that... just you just said moose. You just said the read like oh my god. Oh my god. No I didn't. Oh, please. Yes you did. You said that's a moose. It's a moose. What did he... And then you just said I thought it was a cow. No, I said isn't it a cow that that's the lore behind the cow. They always in the road and it's a sign from the universe. You respect the cow. Oh. How far is it now? I thought you were talking about what you saw. <laughs> it should be about an hour and a half from here. You know, I'm tired of hearing this you know from him. <laughs> Driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. Intergalactic <laughs> space. Just Are sorry, you okay? I can't read. <laughs> Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. You know what? I kind of feel that. I like the snow. I, I like do. I like seeing snow and stuff like that. It's so cool. It's kind of beautiful. Why is he talking to me? Like trying to make Watch him go like, like you? Yeah, well, where's Nora? <laughs> right, where's my wife? Like you've been together for five months and you just, just kidnapped me like that to a cabin in the middle of nowhere without Nora? He's saying. It's suspicious. 5.14 p.m. Nora Jane, where are you? It's Dairy Mart. Wait, where's the cabin? Cause the cabin's yo harp, check that eye out. That's a diesel. That's a not oh. Pizza! Bro, I'll talk about this today. I wanted pizza and I never got it. You <laughs> did say that. Alright, I'm gonna get some pizza. Be right back. Uh, um You know Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. If you say you know one more time, I'm gonna beat your head in. <laughs> this pizzeria is exactly where it is appeared on my GPS. Why is he telling me this? It's like I'm living in the future. What time are we in? What's the year in this? I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go prepared to land. He is trying a little too hard for me. What my back? I was like, uh, sir, my luggage is gone. Oh, is that my luggage thing? What if I just stood him up and left? <laughs> Take his keys, get his keys. Oh, you're holding the door for me. What are you waiting for? What? Let me walk, dang, let me look. Like, get off my freaking business, dog. This ain't about us. What's Nora Jane? Come on in. <laughs> I am so unconditionally rude. This just in. Reports of a strong snowstorm coming towards Woodbury tonight. No. Residents are recommended to stay indoors and keep warm during this. It time. really looks like Kesa. Let's check it? in with our <laughs> no. field report. That's his voice. How's the weather out there, Phil? Oh. oh, it's so cold out here. I, I can't feel my hands. I'm so tired. That is Queso's voice. That is literally his voice. I'm turning that TV off. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to watch TV. Girl, you eating that real good. Every bite you take, looks like you're just savoring the flavor. Jeez. Oh, choose your drink. Oh my God, I want a red cola. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, wow. I didn't ever seen a vending machine do that before. Where's my man at? <laughs> Cheese, three dollars, margarita. Excuse me, who put? I was dragged over here. <laughs> <laughs> Evening, folks. Looks like the codes got everyone craving pizza tonight. 
Why is this game? I was dragged over here. Oh, you're fine, folks. Now, what would you like to eat? I don't even see the three dots. We'll get three oh, yeah. slices each. I'll go with a pepperoni cheese and a veggie. And for you, miss, I would like a pepperoni pizza. All right, what is your second slice? A most special. The third? A most special. <laughs> Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just like the pizza today. Do you not see this Coke in my hand? <laughs> All right, then. Six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Pay. Because if he didn't offer to pay for me to begin with, he doesn't deserve me. <laughs> your order number is 27. Just grab a, scat, a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Thank you for paying. And I was invited here, you know. I did not want to come. This man kidnapped us. Help, help. Somebody help me. Shakes the drink and pours it in his face. I can't do it. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to sit down, I guess. We didn't even get three seats. Where's Nora Jane? <laughs> I'm out of here. This is the worst date ever. Where's my pizza? I need my pizza, dog. I need my pizza, dog. What does that say? Oh my god. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. States, man. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm just looking around. I saw the newspaper. <laughs> what's wrong? <clears throat> I figured what's wrong. Do you gotta go to the bathroom? Well, you just growling at a door and just walk away? Did I miss He's a chapter? Growling? How's your day going? How are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. We're just here to enjoy our pizza in peace. Thanks for under for understanding. No worries. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say, what, what are you following me? How you doing, my friend? I'm pretty hungry. Pizza does smell awfully good. I'm going to grab a slice? No, just looking for a little help. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I'm not helping. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Is my pizza ready? Your pizza will be right out, miss. Please have a seat. Can't wait. Hi, guys. How's your day going? It's going much better now after this pizza. Thanks for asking. How about you? Not too bad. It's our first time to the area. Are you from here? Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I ask that knowing Ding Wang just sit there and tell me he's not from here? Oh, no. We're on our way to a conference in the next town over. Not too much further to go. Bro, let me my pizza. We just have to eat whenever a place looks interesting. Okay, I don't care. Why y'all all eating so loudly? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it smells so good in here. Ah, uh, where's my pizza? Oh, Nora Kim. Ugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, you guys. Wait, Nora Jane. Wait, I'm trying to read. Let's start from the beginning. Oh, Nora, you read a lot. Oh no. Oh no. No no. <gasps> She's it's a group chat. What? Mikey's in this one too. Yeah, I just said it's a group chat. That's a group, yeah, a group chat, but he ain't supposed to be there. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know. Other than Baxter, he would totally do that. This is so cute. Look at them. They're getting engaged. <laughs> May as well put a bed in my office because it feels like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. No, Nora Jane knows what's up. Why is that Nora Jane? <laughs> <laughs> Where does the Jane come from? I don't even know, dude. That's what she looks like. <laughs> said Mike. Think about it, Harpy. Okay, we're divorced. We're divorced. Oh, it's Nora Kim. Okay, I thought it was Mike. I'm about to lose my crap. Here's the thing, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Just... If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think we can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to I see you I both know soon. Her voice too. Oh. <laughs> it's. Oh my god. Who is it? I feel like she's done this just so we can be alone together. Because, uh, why is he staring like that? Do I look delicious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'd be a late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the phone without her. <laughs> no. Where's my pizza? Oh, order number 27. Your folks are right here. I'm dying. I think it's Lily. I think Nora is played by Lily. Pichu. Uh, yeah, that's for you to know because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it like people, all people I know? Like, this is weird. <laughs> it, it just shows. I have one pizza slice. Who ate my pizza? Hey, girl, back hey. that up. That one no. bite. Oh, damn, this pizza slapped. I can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? <laughs> girl is devouring it. Look at all this. 
Like, don't make conversation with me. I'm eating. Yeah, like, I'm trying to stuff my face. Like, I'm consuming. Like, I'm literally sucking this pizza dry. I am, like, it's 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 consumed. Slow down. We need a drink. With my diet, Dr. Cat. Where's my Coca-Cola? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw y'all put in driving that nice old truck. That's right. Not to be a bother or anything, but I was heading down the road myself. Seems like I'm. Seems like we might have been going the same direction. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer, just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit <laughs> a ride down that Zoe road? Um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> Surely you can find just a little bit of room for me to, for me, I can ride in the middle, hell, I'll ride in the bed. The bed? That's like, illegal. We should give you a ride, but there isn't any space. Let's just sound like we're not interested. You gotta be shit me, lady, no space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind for me, unkind to themselves. You best be careful out there. Are you threatening us? No, 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 no. You got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Why? Okay, we reject you. Don't have to be mean to us because we don't trust you. Why Why does he feel the need that we have to give him a ride and get mad when we tell him Like, that? Like, I'm at a bus stop and this is my guys I'm paying for. I don't care if you're going the same way or not. Go find Like, I can be kind, but not to people like you. Yeah, with all that attitude. Well, that was weird. He didn't attitude. Even order anything. Attitude and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm trying to eat. <laughs> let me eat. Can I eat? <laughs> Please, oh let me God. eat. Yeah, I eat a tire if I wasn't hungry enough. Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? <laughs> yes, I would probably if I was dying. I have. <laughs> yeah, that pizza is looking kind of good though, making me kind of hungry. Uh, uh. <laughs> this pizza Real. was perfect fuel for the last... I didn't even see what he said. He just said right. that, that, that. I don't know what he said though. He just I kinda... guess because we burped. Sorry, we thought that ladylike. <laughs> Holy, that was good. All right, then. Are you ready? Sir, can you get... Uh, <laughs> sir, sir, what is wrong with you? Yeah, push him out of the way. I don't like him anyway. All right, then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. <laughs> are we close? Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way? I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of what kind of break are you going to give me? You'd be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get for sir. What is your problem? Do you see we're talking? He's warning us. Well, he, well, you know what? Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. I get first choice of bedrooms when, or if we get there. Deal. Takes keys. We got the truck keys. Let's see what Nord Jane is about. Hold on. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up and let you in. X D X D X D heart love. <laughs> way more than she actually says. <laughs> yeah, we gotta exaggerate because she seems like she exaggerates. Thank so, you. I'm trying. Dog. I'm trying to get through the door. Get in the back. I'm sure she's not hiding in the back. Like he might underneath the truck. Oh my god, he might be. He's gonna make us crash. Can I drive? Like, can I for real drive? I'd be so happy to drive. I wanna drive for real. Let me drive. What's going on? Don't. <laughs> okay. No, you you gotta be kidding me, Lecky, Lecky. No I can still move. Help! Get me in the truck. Oh. <laughs> okay. I guess I walked in the truck that time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what time is it? Time of our lives. <laughs> Why is there so much happening? Okay. In Vermont, this is your We're gonna start rubber banding at this point. WB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your heart. Oh. As we I'm sorry, I forgot. Season, <laughs> you wanted to drive. <laughs> to set the mood. I was so out of practicing my driving. Let me right at home. Let me go. Da dee dee do. No crash to the car. No crash to the car. Okay. Dee da dee dee. It will end the game. How do you know? Because I've seen it in other ones. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. They need to learn how to drive. You get out of my way. Can they see I'm coming through? All that pizza's in my stomach. Oh, dang. Oh. oh, oh. You in my way. You get the hell out of my way, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm driving here. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Uh. Wait, Woodbury. It's the other way. 
Why do we sound like we're backing up like a, we're in a tractor or something? Hey, you like to ride? Don't be looking at me. Can you see I'm driving here? I'm telling you. I need to give me a tractor next time. Yeah, get out of my way, taxi. Can you see I'm taking the road? I'm literally driving here. This is my time to shine. Just don't, okay. Oh, I didn't see you there. Freaking candy van. Scared for us right now. I don't even know where we're going. I'm just driving. I don't see no cabin, but I see a lot of things going on. What if there's a moose in the way again? I'm just getting hit. <laughs> the moose will get hit. Can I honk? Can I honk? I'll honk. Move out the way, I'm coming! That's a cop. That's a police. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, officer. I thought I saw something back there. <laughs> Be careful with the cop back there. Can I flash my light? What was that? Did you hear that? I did, I did. It's the guy under the truck. Hey, is that guy? Wait. Hey. I think... I think the address was 12241 Woodbury Boulevard. Why is it eerie music? And where's our address? I mean, yeah, I get the address, but like, how do we know? Why do we see it? What did that say? Uh, I can't see. My lights are on. It's too bright. Hey, sir. Oh, shoot. Get the kid ran by jumping out of the car. Are you prepared to get hit? I did not. I was going to talk to him and ask him where the address was. I drove past a cabin at first. Why are we getting here? Uh, can I look at the address? Like, chillax. We're not going far. This is not it. It has a car here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would just... And then a dog sign. Maybe it's this one. This one has a basement in it. Is it 247? 241, yeah. Is this the house? I think this is... Yeah, this is it. That's crazy! I'm so smart! You yeah, went to the wrong map palace at first, but Okay, sure. I was looking... I was gonna see if there's an address on the mailbox. Okay. So, I literally almost got killed in front of the cabin. It's crazy for jumping out of the car. That's why I was here recently. Ooh! <laughs> and that should be it. I thought you were just gonna keep driving here. I was quitting the house and we're quite neighbor. Hello, am I in there? You're right. Need some help? House is falling apart a little bit. Door's locked. How to get a key from the lockbox? Oh, aren't you going to get your bag? Let me get it. Dang, you can't be a gentleman. Like darn. Where's the? Oh, this is from this thing. Slide to open. Oh, it was five. If you remember it, that'd be crazy. <sighs> One seven six. <laughs> I remembered <laughs> it. I'm talented. Yeah, sure. One, five, one, seven, six. Uh, I press this one. A key! Open the door. Put my suitcase. I'll get it myself. Rude ass. Don't follow me either. If I come back and you're gone, I don't care. I don't, nor Jane's gonna pick me up for work. You left your car running? Hey, yo, taxi, come get this man. Come get us, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> Take me back home. I, 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 it's over with us. I don't wanna, what's Nora Jane? I need Nora Jane here. I'm gonna put my luggage in the bedroom. I'll be right back, sir. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here, right? But I really need to hit that the John. Take time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. I'm gonna put my- Who's wanting us to do work? Oh, my suitcase. I hope I did not risk that, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's go put the groceries up. Where's the kitchen? Ah, uh, right here. It's such a lovely little kitchen. Put the groceries up. Come here. Get in the get in the fridge. I need to open the cooler. For, I tried. Open. Oh, open. We got some best milk in town. Oh darn! I forgot how to put the milk in the fridge. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. We got some more best milk in town. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys. I have to make sure to save the energy. I got some bell peppers, some eggs. Oh yeah. Some lettuce. Uh, peach farms and bell peppers. There you go. And a little bit of frozen yogurt, which don't belong in that part, but okay. And some bell peppers. I had to close the fridge before picking it up. There you go. Didn't he say he's gonna hit the? What did he mean by what he said? The John. Oh. Woo. Sorry about that, Hart. Are you okay? A long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. No worries. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. This is. It's got that rustic chair charm. I'm going to throw myself off a bridge. <laughs> you just don't see anymore. Yeah, like, it's where did you get chair from? <laughs> For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. Can you go ahead? You can go you ahead. Can go I'll ahead. start I'm unpacking sorry. our bags. Please. I'm just... Do you need me to read? I'm thinking so, because Jesus. There's footprints in the backyard. We're not going to talk about that. Why do we have a gate? What is that noise? Did you hear that? Nah, oh, dog. I'm going back in here. Nah, let's do that. Let me hit the Johns. I never know a heard a toilet called John, but 
You've never heard that? No, I heard let's go hit the sack. <laughs> you know what I mean? It could go. That means you... bed. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna hit the sack. Anybody? Nobody in here, right? What did she say? I gotta pee. I gotta wash my hands first, real quick. They stank. You saying I stank? Ah. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Let's text Rick for Why are you moaning? Hi, we've checked in. Nora, go away. The biggest hug meets two. Let me dot on the way. Well, I'm off It's Nora Gaines' fault. Uh, I'm fully relieved. I'm close the toilet seat and wash my hands again. Gotta wash before I touch and wash you after I leave. It's just how it goes. Do we got a towel in here? We're just drying on our clothes, I guess. Why is the music so eerie? Ah! <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> you feeling better after the drive? Much better now. So ready to check out the place? Sounds good to me. After you. Oh, look at this TV. What do we got on TV, y'all? To ensure that your stay is top notch. Anyway, <laughs> that was just a weird channel to pull up on. Like, is the killer loose or something? Hold on, let me see. Family sized, underground, and many more. <laughs> I saw alcohol. Oh, there's a TV in here. What the heck? Is this like a security room? What does this say? Tower? Game it's room. Like... <gasps> it's, Jumanji. Ouija board. it's Jummy Jamaji. There's a Ouija board. There's chess. Where's the Ouija board? Let's go summon a demon. <laughs> Let's go summon a demon. This living room is bigger than my apartment. All right, Ouija board. I know you're not out of the box yet, and I would love to play with you right now, but um, is Mike a demon? <laughs> <laughs> Let us know right now. Mike, the Ouija board spoke. You are a demon. <laughs> Get me out of here. Call the cops. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <gasps> Canopoly move, oh demon. Oh my god, Canopoly. The demon is in my way. I need to add this to my collection. I mean, it's, this fire's not big enough. <laughs> I'm gonna that real quick. What's in this room? Sorry, I had to go around. Excuse me. Oh, we got a basement in here. Hello, anybody in the basement? Come no, you did not just. I, I fell right into the demon's trap. <laughs> no! <laughs> I totally no more basement. This place sort of reminds me of your co college dorm. Are you sure about that? I don't smell the Long Beach Kush here. I wonder what that guy doesn't want us to see. Well, let's not get too curious. Let's turn the light on. Oh my god, he just he terrified me, dog. Like he put me in this basement. He knows what he's doing, and he's eating it up. How do you rent a cabin from somebody and they don't want you to see something? Like, why would they put something in a house that they didn't want you to see, right? So clearly they want us to investigate. I would just immediately think it's suspicious. Like, I couldn't stay in a place where I just don't. I have an unlocked basement door. Nora Jane, where are you? Are you here yet? Oh, we already checked this room out. Can you not, dude? Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> like, get off me. I gotta put my suitcase up in the room. So have you seen my suitcase? <laughs> it's not there no more. I guess I don't have clothes to sleep tonight. I was wondering what you were looking at. <laughs> like through my, it's to get out of my face. Why are you all over me? <laughs> Why is one nostril bigger than the other? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah! Now what the hell? Now what was that? Why are you hiding behind the door? Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie daisy, I didn't mean to. And that's when I'm leaving. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, 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 we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, heart. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement and you, never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir with you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, um, I was out looking for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV has been on on the fritz lately. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again. <sighs> Since the last few folks left a bad word for it, I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> Are you okay? Nope. <laughs> you know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around the sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. How's that? Was the middle day to me with nervous energy? Are you coming, miss? Yeah, I'm coming. Look, how did he get around that corner? Look, he was hiding right here. You? Nah, dog. That man was—he's very sus already with that smiley eagle face. Did that? Hello? Oh, it's me hiding. I'm hiding. Oh, this is when you need to be quiet. No. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> coming, miss. Talk when you're nervous. <laughs> exactly. I have a panic attack when I'm talking. Wait, we went upstairs. Oh, there's a cat. There's a patio right here. That's cool. Don't push me over, please. Did you just forget you went upstairs? I totally did. I was like, wait a minute. That's my right. I'm coming. Move it. 
You sat there. Here's a shower that. That. <laughs> here's a shower that thing will. That's not such a weird thing to say. Make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this is, sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom, right? Just a shower and a toilet. Like, you have to close the door to go pee. I didn't need to shower. <laughs> don't tell me what I don't need to do. I, I, <laughs> well, that's rude. You guys can have your own fun in there. <laughs> Look, Harkness Room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. Hey, I already seen the deck. That's what I thought. I knew you could open doors. Are you coming, miss? Can you quit? Tell me what I'm just checking it out. I'm saying, like, Why are you rushing me for no reason? I was nervous we're gonna find something. Yeah, let's go check the basement. Hey, can you do you have the key for the basement? Don't push me over. Holy smoke, this is incredible. Definitely. Then you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of this creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright, folks, let's head back in before I catch the code here again. <laughs> Did we just knock him out and take his keys? I need his keys. Yeah, it's even weirder than. <laughs> like, can you get out of my way? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my on my right. Storms like these, you never know. We it's might not need it. Go out. Thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs. It's crazy because I don't think he talked about. <laughs> What's <is> up? <laughs> this flashlight. <laughs> That's just a random drawer there, you know? This is, this is very conspicuous. I mean, I guess. Teddy! Alrighty, folks, I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. It was vegetables, milk, and something else. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and turn uh, down to cool it off. Okay. Why did he open the fridge just to say that? Yeah, why is he all up in my business already, dog? I look at him and stare at me with those beady eyes. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. <gasps> the basement. We're going to the basement. Can we go to the backyard? Can we check out the shed? I want to go out there. Please let me go out there. Dude, if you don't get out of my face, out of my face, out of my face. Okay, so you see the light is on. He looked at that room. No access to guests. Are you coming, Miss? Can you let me look at the sign? Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. Well, clearly there's something to worry about if you tell me just worry about nothing. Yeah, like, we shouldn't have no issues here, right? Okay, and now we're back here again. Hey sir, what's the deal with this room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this basement as storage. Renters don't need a space. They, you, <laughs> they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. We'll get in that basement, don't you worry. If there's a body in it, oh. Did I mention it? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I brought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night, so they could hear something shuffling around down here. Now, not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. Dude, jump scare me already. What is she, she's either actually dead and her ghost is just there and her body's in there, or like she's not actually dead and um. She's in the closet. <laughs> she's locked in there. She's locked in. There. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on out. Now nah, I'm just joking. I don't think you are, but yeah, I'm stunned around. At this point, my creep meter was quietly peeing at around six out of ten. Only six. Alrighty, folks. Snow's starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. You looking for a cat upstairs in the bedroom behind the door? By the way. What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Cindy. Ha! <laughs> Cindy, that's right. A pretty name for a pretty girl. Okay, please leave. Yeah, you don't. Don't take my lunchbox with you. Get out. Don't come back. Is it just me or is this dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good at TV. Actually, I'm going to take a quick shower. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's because I confused myself. Cool, I found something to watch while you're in there. God, let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks. See you in a bit. No peeping Tom. No peeping. Where's Nora? I miss Nora. Oh, where's Nora Jane? She probably killed her. What if her body's down there? That's what I'm saying. Like, Nora Jane takes it from the old... <gasps> that makes so much sense. Ah, oh, thank God. The shower door was open. I didn't, even I didn't take off my clothes or anything. I just went in the shower and started showering with clothes and all. Okay, I'm all done. How do I look? Fantabulous. Let's go. Did I close that door? Um, yeah. I don't think I closed that door. I closed the other door, didn't I? Oh, I, 
I don't know. Sir, what the heck is on your back? <laughs> is that a fishing rod? Why is it so long? Hey, heart, check this out. I found this fishing rod in the oil of that shed. A plane to catch dinner? Now that you mention it, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another rod in the shed, so we both gonna give it a shot. Oh man, he's gonna take me out there and get shot. <laughs> I'm gonna have three bullets in my back. <laughs> don't don't do this. This this yard is big. I'll, I would like a yard that's big. So if you wanted me to go fishing with you and you got a fishing rod and you didn't grab my fishing rod, you go get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's light. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Hart? <laughs> yeah, just give me a second. Why does he call us by our last name? Is that supposed to be the nickname? I guess. Is that just Sid? Like, like, yeah, like, name Sid? like, I have a name. Use it. Where's the fishing rod? Am I missing it? Right there. Oh, <laughs> I was looking at it. There don't look like no fishing rod. We need bait. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We need to catch three carps. So Why is this? You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first. We need the right bait for the carp. Check out this bait information for you. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp. Let me Please grab don't the make wrong with my name. Oh, I knocked it over. I'll take this one. Thank you. <laughs> Always complaining about what I'm taking. Well, I'll take this one. Come on, Harp. It's this way. We gotta make sure it's right. Margaret. Oh, yeah, right. Um, we're looking for a carp, Harp. <laughs> I had this week one. My truck is still running. I know you're here. Put on hook. Is it on a hook? I can't tell. <laughs> it's just the weekend. Let's go. Oh. What's that? Oh, I got my bait on there. Okay. So how does this river work? This it's frozen here, and I would assume a river froze up overnight, wouldn't it? I hope this carp are biting today. It's too cold to be fishing. Who goes fishing in the middle it's of winter? Too late. What well, that too? How do we catch something? Um. Oh. 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 How is this Stardew Valley? I can't do it this. Literally Stardew Valley. I got me a carp. It's common. They say whenever there's a one cart there, there's always more. Okay, I'm trying to think. He's just making shit up. Yeah, he just wants to freaking get in love with me. He just thinks this is dating, and I miss Nora Jane. Nora Jane better pop up and jump scare me real quick. I'm saying. There's a person over there. Wait, look, look, look at the left. Where? There's a man on the bridge. Maybe he's fishing too. You don't no, I think, it's, I think it's the camper guy because it has a backpack. <gasps> he's watching us from afar? He's, He's gone. gone now! Oh my god. Woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. I barely saw him for a second. Maybe he's over here now. He's watching us the whole entire time, watching us go camping because we rejected him. Back in my day, we called them an ass. They call us stalkers. Like, I feel like I saw him, but I, didn't, I got a hint of his shadow figure. That's it. I'm glad you saw him. You saw that! If it doesn't, if it, see, if it doesn't move on its own, it'd be great. Whoa, what are you sliding for? Get your butt over here. <gasps> Keep that too. We're, we're taking a lot of fish. Carp, that's not quite fish we're aiming for today. We need carp. Keep trying. Girl, I just got two of them. Are they gonna kill this guy off? I'm okay with that. Two carp in a bucket, just one left to grill in. Yeah, and you haven't yeah, done we anything. Do well, we know we're who the killer is. We already got the first camp. Alright, Harp, looks like we got three carp. Do you want to head back in and throw these in the oven for dinner? Let's do it. <gasps> I thought he took his shirt off. I don't know why. It scared me, honestly. Uh, thank you for pushing me. That's kind of rude. At least you can escort the bucket in there, a fish for me, you sweet pea. I can't, I can't. We're being watch. Close the gate. Lock the bat, bat down the hatches. The windows are scheme. Oh, I didn't mean to catch that. I'm sorry. Well, I guess we're taking these in with us. I can't get rid of it. So we're gonna, let's go. That's G. Thank you. You're the best. I would never forget that out without you. Why is this fish crack I remember it saying that earlier. While I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw it in. Ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, and paprika and yogurt on it. Well, you let the fridge open so we can close it for quick. Uh, let's get a large bowl. All right, I got the frozen yogurt, which is not very frozen. Here you go. Italian seasoning. Ginger. <laughs> Ginger. Paprika. Mm, um, salt and pepper. We're missing olive oil. If I was olive, what would I be? Not in the fridge, clearly. Oh, there it is. Thank you. There you go, sir. I made the the, the mix, the marinade. What if I just kick him in the fridge? So you're a chef now, is what I'm hearing, because you can obviously cook. Do you mind throwing the fish in the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies on it? What did he say again? 
have to add the fishes first. Oh, the fish. Um, Where's the fish? Dude, did you eat the fish? Sir, what did you do with the fish? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'll never guess to be in that thing. Hold on. I feel like... Someone's definitely going to be watching. Someone is watching. Like, do you want me to close the door? Yes. <laughs> I'm unsettled. Okay, and we got the marinade and the fish. And then... Oh, the how could you add the veggies? Oh, no. <laughs> how could you? I read it needs to be in the oven for 30 minutes at 400. Keep an eye out there for that, that, that potty mouth. Oh. Uh, in eight. Those crops are going to taste amazing. We got one more fish in here, though. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw it in the living room next to the living room. <laughs> I guess we could. Okay, let me just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw it in the living room. I was like, where's my Monopoly? I found the game. Come here, let's play. Let's play. I want to play the Ouija board. Oh, snap. Is that a Ouija board? Holly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how that dude was actually weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? That's a great idea. All right, let's go. Terrible idea, but let's do it. I picked the wrong Ouija board in there. Are you scared already? Yes. Like, I chose the wrong game, and you don't think I'm scared? Watch out for spiders down here. Is the cat? Let's find that cat down here. We, we need to find that cat. The cat is missing. Dog. How do you know where that table was? Because we didn't come back here. Okay, if I was like that too, I would definitely go through that box as well. <laughs> Oh. Dang, you sat quick. You know what would make this even spookier? What now? Let's turn off the, these lights and see if this thing really works. <sighs> Let's play this Ouija board. Anyways, do you know how this works? Yes. All right. All right, then. You go first. Uh, are there any spirits you want us to talk? Can you see us? Let's see this one. L. Oh, G. M? I don't even know what the guy we read because that was all those letters. I literally already got lost. I was so distracted because it's only his hand. Oh, I'm controlling his hand with him. Uh, uh, where are we going? Yes. No way. Are, we, are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. What, what was that spell? question? <laughs> what was that question? How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Do you live in this house? What is your name? Okay, now I'm just convinced he's moving it back and forth just for fun. I'm saying, because these are not words. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Oh, because no one's answering. I'm the one ripping in the circles here. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not, I, usually I get annoyed when, like, things... Who got up and just left me? I'm usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I didn't feel uneasy that night. There's some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me! <laughs> what the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. It would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of the fight or flight? Whatever. Yeah, we're not dating. You really ruined the moment. You literally killed me. <laughs> if there was a monster in that basement, you wouldn't protect me. You would have ran out and let me. I don't know, Leggy. I feel like I saw somebody in that window. <laughs> Bro, brought me the fish. I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure. Bro sat down too quick. Close the door and let's go sit down and watch our favorite TV. Let me turn the TV on first. Where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like <laughs> the mayonnaise water park. Not the mayonnaise so water park. First, we are going to prepare Where's my plate? the asparagus. Where's my plate? Season I gotta get it myself. A lot. Man, I'm so sick. Where's mine? Go. He gets scared, running the basement with the tiny noises, like and then goes to watch TV. It's crazy. But now, how do we eat this? this? I want to eat it. Mm. Oh, yeah, we, we that was delicious. Did you try this fish? This fish is really good, fresh from the river. To make sure mm. it Look at that. Us. It gets so, very it's so good. All my work is being put onto this. After doing that, Why are we watching about mayo? Is this a cooking show? Why is his eyes blue? Is he a demon too? Am I surrounded by demons? Okay, and while that's cooking, we can. You want your fish? This is really good. I, I want your fish as well. Gasoline soaked ramen. Good. I'm done with it. Now this dish is extremely hard. Harp, that was good. Some damn good fine food. It's twice as good since we caught it. The fish ourselves. It was alright. We. Yeah, because yeah, he's not he's not taking accountability for my work. You don't have to rain on my parade heart. It was no more no more pizza. But I thought it would turn out well. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. Lift my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on a shipment details for my new DS. All right, be right back. All right, I clean up here. Half and half. Do not use diesel! 
<laughs> Do not use diesel. I used to laugh at him real quick. Let me be wrong. Do not use diesel. I guess I watch TV while she gets back. Um. Uh, if your oven <clears throat> catches on fire, uh, make sure to put it out with the fire extinguisher. And there's enough of that TV for now. Do not use diesel. Okay, hi. Hello. <laughs> Just wrapping up my messages. I do think it's really cool that they have like a few YouTubers like um in the game. Like we had Queso on the TV, mm -hmm. and then Nora, I, I believe, is Lily Peach here. And then the guy on the TV is Berlizzi. Um. Okay, I know Berlizzi. And Jack Jacksepticeye was in a previous episode, which I think is cool. I like that, especially when it's people I know. I don't know people I know, but celebrities, not celebrities, but like. You don't personally know, but you know, you're aware, you know, I get it, I yes. get it. Yes. Well, how to do both plates of our plates. Oh my God. What was making this dude work? So he went. Does he do anything? Yeah, no, he just, for the free ride, like. Dude. Just leaves us alone in the basement. Could have died. Bro, I think he's the killer. He's definitely Probably. something horrible about him. The killer's escaping! How to do both of our plates? What do you mean? Do I need it? You grab them at the same time. Oh, can I do that? Oh, wow, that's cool. <laughs> Never thought that. <laughs> uh, washing the this dishes. This looks like something would be in a window. That's what I'm waiting for. Someone's gonna pop it and go, Wah! like a bird's gonna hit it, but the bird will be frozen dead, right? So it can't be a bird. Who left my door open? Didn't I close that? I don't mean, I probably did. No, but, you left know. it open. Yeah, well. That's not my fault. Michael J. Carter. But why you're texting us? Yeah, why are you I think there's someone under my bed right now. Oh my god. Can you come upstairs? That's so freaky. Yeah, like, why do you make it? Yeah, like, why are you making me do it? I'm scared. Imagine you're in your room. And, oh my god. You're just gonna text message from your friend like there's someone under my bed. I would make you do that. Okay. Maybe it's Nora Jane and she's there the whole time, but I'm about to be scared, aren't I? Let me my computer. It's him. It's him. He's gonna. He's gonna scare us. Are you sure about that? Because he's not in yeah, here. Yeah, because he's not there. Okay, I don't care if he's not there or not. I don't. I don't want to go in the room. He's dead. We gotta get out of here. Take his keys and get out. <laughs> oh man, I ain't never been scared in a while. <laughs> Flashback five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably under the bed himself. <laughs> gotcha <laughs> what the hell mike <laughs> you look at it break your nose my good looks are half of my charm Harv, don't mess them up i totally got you that was fun wasn't it it's not cool come on it was just a joke <laughs> you want to go for the next round how about a game of hide and seek fine <laughs> all right you're on i count to 10. it never goes to find him <laughs> not for real oh we're hiding i decided to hide in the basement oh well, He's I decided. Down there. Exactly, he'll never find me down there. I don't care, I'm trying to light <laughs> one. <laughs> I decided to hide in the nook under the stairs. I didn't even I see didn't that see there. That. Let me wait. Oh, should be quiet, thanks. Be careful, be careful, be careful. Uh, not me, though, they say. <laughs> oh, have you actually come downstairs? Oh my god, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe he heard you talking, did you loud at <laughs> Oh my god. He knows we can't get into that room. What if the door just opens anyway? That'd be freaky. How can we see through the door? I like I like that we can see through the door. That makes no sense. Oh no. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I got you! Maybe that wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Oh, are you stalking me? Maybe you need to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Mike was hiding. I found you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> you better close your eyes like I did. I don't know. Space. In the basement's crazy. Yeah. One Mississippi? Yeah. Two Mississippi? How many Mississippis are there? Is that 10 Mississippis? 10. Ready now, here I come. Oh my God. Mike's gonna be well, dead. We know he's not in the basement. Elite. No, for real. But I think he's actually outside in the cab the cabin. Mike, Mike, don't play with me right now. Mike, I'm not he's laughing. He's gonna scare us again. Oh, he's gonna get me good too. I know he will. Mike, you're not in here, are you? Oh, you're in here. Mike, you're in here. You're in the closet. Mike, found you. <laughs> Hang on, Harp. I think I heard something upstairs. Fooled me once. Shame on you. Fooled me twice. 
No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see the attic access doors here and here. Oh! I would never guess that. Let me look outside and see if the criminal is out there watching us still. <laughs> Let me know where Jim came in. Gotten, then. Couldn't reach you without a steel stool. Now, what the hell? You think, you think this is a joke? <laughs> you think this is a joke? Let me mess <laughs> you up. This is not a joke. Don't ever do it to me. Yeah, I'll mess you up. Where's the steel stool? Did I miss it? Oh, I did miss it. I did not see that. No, you got some sick jokes. <laughs> okay, we're in the attic. You're not, you're not coming up here with me? That's wrong of him to do, you know? The old man's gonna be up here, isn't he? Oh, it's a cat! Kitty! <laughs> you dropped your potato. <laughs> Guess the old man wasn't lying. Oh my god, he's so cute. He's just a kitty cat. You wanna come outside and play with me? <laughs> I like how you t tweaked out there for a second. <laughs> you look nasty at first. Come on, kitty, let's go. Come, come. Come on. We're going to the basement. <laughs> you can open the door for us. <laughs> hey, you're down here. I've seen you. I saw that. Hey. Saw Sydney, that. What, what are you okay? <laughs> okay, shh. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? It was just a cat. <laughs> oh, it looks like you are. <laughs> oh, I should have saw that. I didn't see that until like that second. I saw the word pee. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Oh, I gotta hide. I decided to hide in the tool shed in the backyard. That's when everything went south. This is gonna go wrong. It's gonna go right to where. So did I we not get the cat? <laughs> did we just leave it up there? Sure did. I, I don't think, think he's gonna he can get up me. there. I think something's gonna happen to him. He's not gonna find me. You know what? Um, where are you going? I'm just looking. Just wanna make sure we're not being watched. You know, it could be very suspicious people out there. I'm like, what if he was watching me from that window, like from that door? Like he'd be like, "Hey, I'm watching you." And I'm like, "No, uh." -uh. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hide in the shit. Oh, do I gotta find something to hide in here with? Or do I just wait in here? We're gonna be in here all night. <laughs> we'll be in here all night. It's the whole the whole thing. <gasps> He's coming. What if that wasn't him? What if it wasn't Mike after all and it was just somebody else? You know what I mean? I'd believe it. Where are you going? I don't know. Maybe he's... <gasps> I feel like I heard footsteps on my right. Don't say that. But I really did, though. I feel like I heard footsteps on my right. Why do people watch him get killed right in front of us? Oh, that's that gonna be so nice. I mean, I feel bad because I'm gonna be alone after that, but like, <laughs> oh no, he saw me. <laughs> How do you see me? I'm behind the window over here. Damn hard. It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing it worth it is worth doing well. <laughs> My turn. Close your eyes. Close those, Close those pretty eyes. I'm okay. getting tired. <laughs> Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You can find me and we'll go to bed. Brother. I don't think I'm ever gonna find him, but I guess I'll close his eyes and close his door though, because I don't trust myself. <laughs> he's gonna be in the attic. I bet he's gonna be in the attic. How many Mississippi are there? Coming. <laughs> you know? Okay, he's definitely gonna be like dead. I know it. He's gonna be dead this time. Nobody's watching sure. right? Nobody's no. watching. Okay. Girl, I'm getting a little nervous here. I'm nervous. Boyfriend, I'm nervous. He's not that way. The basement. Surely I don't, I don't think he's in the... Ah, oh, the living room. I'm coming. Oh, that's definitely in the basement. Mike, Mike, you in here? He's upstairs in the attic. I'm going to start tweaking. <laughs> I'm going to start tweaking. It's okay. Start twerking. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely in the attic. Wait, that's the garage door. Like, wouldn't it be out here? Like, next to his truck? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. I'm a little scared. Can we actually oh. die in this game? Yeah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Story ends when I die by a truck. Mike? And I'm not turning the volume up louder. Mike. Wait. Ah! Oh, what did I scream for? I don't even know why I screamed. Ah! <laughs> I screamed at him one, then I screamed at the other one. What's going on? What happened? Well, hey there. Why the hell are you here again? Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us! Oh, I hit sigh. <laughs> I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fixed any, any many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so, so I imagine you don't know what tools you'll need. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I ride around the block. I told you. Same time the screen changes, it does mess up my little brain. I'm sorry. <laughs> 
I told you I get this sink fixed for you real soon. Look, we need to go to bed now. You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick, she's being polite. You enter this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I... We don't really want to have to call law enforcement. Mike, please let me handle this. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet I was just doing? Some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Dog, it is his house, technically, but like, let us rent it out first. You can fix it the next time somebody stays here. Like, get out of my business. And what's wrong with the sink? It looks fine. The tap doesn't work. Okay, well, we can use wash our hands in the shower. Like, what the heck? It was just the fact that he didn't tell us he was in the house. Like, when did he come in? Yeah, we kind of 10 seconds, and then bro always upstairs with the other guy. Oh, he just left. I mean, we never found Mike. What was he doing this whole entire time? And why did she scream at Mike? I'm not that old man being there because I didn't scream. <laughs> I was just claustrophobic. I guess it was just another man. I don't know. <laughs> There's too many men in the house. <laughs> After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making, making an excuse to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed um, his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. No. Look, we've already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But but by this time, I was feeling a little tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.30 p.m. at no line. Am I having a nightmare? Am I having a nightmare? Is that fire? <laughs> it sounds like something going on there, like a blizzard. Oh, I'm coming. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I like to talk about something. Sure. <laughs> yeah, help yourself. You just walk through the door like it was not open. <laughs> that was inexcusable. Your reaction time was great, though. <laughs> I just realized it was a dark figure, so why not? <laughs> Are you gonna talk or you just stand there? there? I try to walk away. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Cindy. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. That's oh. nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all, guys. I'm supposed to watch over people they care about, right? <laughs> but you can't pay the check, can you? I'm saying. What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. <laughs> I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does, he does own the own place. Own. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. He rented the damn house. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm, I'm frustrated. Me too. I really need to sleep now, Mike. I'll help if we both get some sleep. Oh, it'll help. My bad. Excuse me? Not in my bed. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Oh my god, Dog. please, leave me alone. I'm starting to feel like a victim here. Hard, you know, <laughs> I've missed this. Us, uh, just talking, it's been too long. You know, you don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Oh, he had to rethink about it. Ate that name. up, ate, ate that up. up. Yeah, exactly, get off me. No. You were like... That was an eerie sound. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward though. Mike, we had a lot of to drink. Things happened. They sure did, and I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. <laughs> Nora, I'm coming. Shut up, I gotta talk to Nora. Oh Mike, I don't know what to say. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. What's going on, Nora? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury and my stinking tire just blew out. <laughs> it's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says <laughs> Kent Pond. The snow is like half of a deep and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like me having a mental breakdown. I hate to ask. <laughs> Can you two come get me? In this, this me type actually, of way? That's like, that would actually be me. Yeah, I'm stuck I, I, I'd probably be crying because I'd be like more panicking. What a timing, huh? But I guess you can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. That's really nice, Mike. 
I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. I can stay home by myself. It would make sense that he won't get killed off. Oh, we'll finish talking about this later. Okay, get some rest and stay warm. If you really like to, if you like, if you really feel like we have to. <laughs> Sorry, my brain malfunction, my roboticness. What does that sound though? It's not like the ice in the window. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Are you sure? Oh, don't worry, I'm driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You probably would be right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock the front doors. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. Sure. You know what? This time I'm going to do it because if he needs to come back faster for me because he knows I'm in trouble, like, his heart would feel it. So I'm going to give him a hug. Bro, we have to give him a reason to there save us. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. And drive safe, Mike. Oh. Can I not lock the door? All right, well, we ain't going to lock the door. I'm going back to bed. That old man's going to come get us. The hiker's going to come get us. Oh, we're gonna hear some noise in the basement at like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. I told myself things would get better if I just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. 12.30 Clearly, we are not able to. Mm-mm. Not in this lifetime. Come in. I don't know who's oh gonna wake me up God. at... He's gonna wake me up at like 2 a.m. Who is that? And why are you ringing my doorbell? Someone was at the front door. Okay. Who exactly. is it? Dog, why are you ringing the doorbell at 12 a.m.? 12.39 a.m. at that. Why don't you be the camper? That, like, hiker guy. Damn! I ain't open this door. It is a camper. It is him. The realization that someone was this late at night was horrific. Alert the hiker. I saw you there. Did you Please, open the door. I'm freezing to death right here. I ain't doing that. Oh, you, like, made it where so he could see you. Oh, I didn't think about that. Nope, going back to my room because I will not open the door for no camper. Do I gotta let him in? It's it's the camper, dog. Like, we ain't letting no random stranger in the house that we rejected a few times to get him in the house. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's right, right? Remember the hiding spots, just in case. You're gonna keep knocking? Do I actually gotta let him in, though? Is he still knocking? Yes. Oh, so I guess we gotta let him in, but I don't want to. He's like, I saw that! Oh, <laughs> Do you have an idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't a deal banging under your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait. You're not coming in, end of story. Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me wait inside until your friends get here to get me. You're not coming in, end of story. Are you fucking kidding? He? Oh, me. me. <laughs> Sorry, it was shaking too much. You're gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in the snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big as <laughs> big as a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still uh, unkind. Get out of here or I'll call the cops. Please just leave me leave or I'll call the cops. Uh, I'll say nicely. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellas truck out here. I'm dialing 911 now, fine. Suit yourself. You better run to that basement. Like, what did he ex But let me tell you something. You get what's coming for you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. But Karma led me to this basement. The method door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Okay. So what are we- How did there no cops in the town? Like, you're telling me there's not a single cop? What Even if the next time over, I would have done called them for somebody barging at my door and tell me, oh, I'm going to Carver's going to get you, you know? All it takes for me to realize I'm going, no. <laughs> no. And why does it make you bother me? There's so many people, like, why was he watching us fish, first of all? What? Hello? Ah! Oh. Mike's dead. <laughs> yeah, it was bound to happen sooner or later. We knew Mike was kicking the bucket sooner or later. What about Nora, though? Nora! We gotta save Nora. We gotta save our wife. Nora Jane, we're coming. At this point, I had no choice but to call for help. Is there something on the window? That's what I thought. I think it's a, if there's someone threw some, a soap ball at me. Probably. Maybe it's a little tick trick. Tick trick. Uh, Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here. He was hang, uh, banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared, and I think him moving around outside the house. Can you please come look since you live close? After we kicked him out? I don't know. I don't think we should have been rude, though. You know what I mean? Rick's not saving us, bro. He's 
gonna give us into the killer because we were rude. Not for real. What do I do? Should I check Something him? screamed outside. I know, but I think he threw a snowball at us. I'm pretty sure he just cussed us out and threw a snowball. Oh, brother. Don't look at the front door. <laughs> like, is, is there a window that we can see? No, that's, that's the only window we don't either. Get I was thinking about that, but wait. We have this. Genius, right? I don't even remember that window, so. No, we cannot see, but somebody It has to be Rick, because we kept we asked for Rick to come help us. I guess I'm saying, I don't know either, but it's worth the sh it's worth the shot, you know? Because he didn't even hesitate, but he could have taken us back. Ricky. Ricky Ricky! That's about how strange Rick was. Seeing him what it looked like was a leaf. Um Open the door, miss, it's me. Should I open it? I should open it. You know it's Rick. Yeah. I don't know. Ah! Hammer. What the hell is going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Did he kill him? Did you, did you murder him? Are you about to murder maybe, me next? Maybe the camper was the guy who screamed. Why is he falling it's like this, bro? Rick was in the house. <laughs> Mama, there's a girl behind you. <laughs> Mama, Mama, a girl behind you. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Why he all up on me like that? Are you following me upstairs in my bedroom instead of talking to me and close the door? By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. Mike, he went to pick up some uh, other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friend will be back soon. You better not let me run because I trapped myself in the corner. What was that all about? You just started dancing? Oh no. Where you going? No, don't do that. Don't do that. Like, I'm following you and I'm gonna hug on to you until Rick was in the house. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Glad we got that situated. Are you gonna sit down and he's gonna get killed? He's gonna put me in the basement. Rick, what are you doing? Warming up? Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay. Bro, I'm so sussed out right now. Rick Wilson. Rick. Um, but if this is not Rick. Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been in the rental in weeks. I for that knew reason. It. I knew it. This guy That's guy was crazy. so sus. We don't have a choice, girl. We don't have a choice. She won't go that far. <laughs> Why are you standing to me? Mama, there's a girl behind you. <laughs> Why are you standing like that? No. Do I have to talk to him? I still feel safe opening the door. So what? Do I talk to him? I don't want to talk to him. What do we do? This isn't Rick. This what? isn't Rick Rob. Wait, I tried to talk to him, but he won't do nothing. Anything okay, miss? Yeah. Awful late for texting it, isn't it? Who are you talking to? It's my friends. They're almost here. You are not. Oh. No, don't say that. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah, thanks for coming by, though. I'll be fine now. You can have it if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around, make sure everything really okay. Ah, he's giving me anxiety. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want. You need to leave right now. Get out of here before I call the cops. What do you want? I want what's mine. This house and you. You're in trespassing. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it would be one of us. Uh. Ah! Oh! Why he look like that? And why is that so loud? It just ends there because I died. <laughs> Mama, that was not fair. Okay, so I think the hiker's gonna save me, but I didn't have nowhere to go, so I guess I go into the basement and hide. I'm assuming. <laughs> I was thinking about that the first time. I was like, screw this, I'm going outside. I'm running out of here. Yeah, clearly he's going over in the house, but he just turned around to lock the door. He's <laughs> breaking the door, actually. Let's get to it then. I'm sorry, Mike. You should never, I should have, he should let me go with him. Like, what would he think if he, he just literally ran? See, he keeps leaving me behind. It's crazy. I tried, I finally tried fiction for him and he gave me one to give him a hug. We're going to the basement. We're going to die. We're going We're gonna die, y'all. We're going to die again. Lord, oh my god, yeah, he's breaking like the locks and or I don't know if you break the lock I feel like that just will make the doors pretty 
easy to open, so I don't know how that helps, but sure, unless he's just busting it to where it gets stuck, but I... I don't know how that works. I've never been in this situation, and I don't want to be in this situation, so you will not catch me in this situation ever. Um... No. <laughs> oh my god, is he throwing stuff around? Like... Hey. There's no way. I know he ain't got hacks. That is not a good idea. Don't get caught. You couldn't even run. Unless you just don't know how to run. He's gonna smash you. Right. <gasps> Nora, you dumb bitch! <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> no, 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 no! 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 I mistake by saying something. I said something and I blew it. People never turn off their turn their phone on silent when they're in a situation like this. No, for real. But then that was also me that we, <laughs> that said something in the closet. No, <laughs> my last <laughs> word. I was an actual victim. No, you can't sprint. I'm still going to the closet. I don't care what you say. If he, I was gonna say if he does a huh, then he is confused, but I don't know. Where are we? Oh, they're here, they're here, they're here! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What if that cat moves upstairs and gets his car? Girl, you can not see into that window. I think that song means you're good to go. Is that the lemon hair with ring? Okay. He's definitely gonna get me. He won't get me. Hey. Okay. Hang up! Hang up! <laughs> I forgot to hang up. I, I just, that door is killing me! Hang up, I was like, hang up? What do you mean? <laughs> Girl, I'm fucking Girl, hang up that damn phone. Why'd you put it on silent the first second she got the chance to? I'm saying, like. If I was her, I'll put the phone right in front of me, breathing heavenly, and then, like. Or throw the phone somewhere else, dog. Throw it out the window. It'd been so smart. But Nora, Nora Jane, I thought she was gonna be our best friend. But she's the best friend that's getting us killed. She's the one that pushes us as we run. <laughs> Okay, we don't talk about that. I was too busy talking about that. I gotta be quiet when we get in there, okay? <laughs> or else I'm gonna get beaten by this loud freaking siren head. I, you know, I love, the, I love Nora and everything, but she's really, really putting us in danger. Hey. No way. Oh my god, I really thought you were gonna get caught there. Yeah. Hi. That's rigged. That's so rigged. Okay, I'm gonna this Ah, darn it. Yeah. Okay. Focus. Focus. I mean, we're gonna try to go outside in the backyard. Okay. I was wondering about that actually. Unless you can go into the attic with until he leaves. Because it's not the room. We're gonna try.
with the cat. Come on, guys, please save me. I'm stuck. Oh. I've got 911. What do you mean, hello? What do you mean, like, we just got down there. Do we have a guest on the phone? He's got Look at them. They're cold. <gasps> like, who's the other guest? Like, Nora Jane? Okay, Nora Jane knows now. Not to call me. He's gone. Should I go down? I should go down, right? I, I don't know. I'm scared. Kitty protect us. Okay, okay, cat. Meow. They were looking for that cat. Why was he looking for a cat? I had another cat. Is that George Washington? I'm going back down. Not, not be so mad. Oh, did I make it? I'm walking slowly. This is the happy music. ending. Well, I'm going slow motion. Guy! <laughs> Guys! Guys, I'm coming. <laughs> I made it, guys. You don't understand. You don't understand. I did it. <laughs> Ay, os mios. You did it. You saved Nora Jane. Nora Jane, I'm here. Nora. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Mike, Nora. Oh, okay, but no, Mike. I oh, want well, Nora Jane. I told him anything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm has quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw, we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it was, wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. There was. So what about the, the hiker? Basement. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on, but in the end he gave us a full refund. That's good. I need compensation. Yeah, yeah it's compensation <laughs> for what he. I have been beaten with the hammer like many times. He, he didn't. He had to do all that. He didn't have to do all that. What about the hitchhiker? Maybe we should let him in. Survive through the fifth episode. We did it. We were a survivor. Yay! Yes, in the basement. Huh? I never thought about that basement door. Oh, does not lead there. What's in the basement? We never figured what's in the basement. It's Barlizzi. There you go. You got that Lily Pikachu. Hey, don't tie. I think I was right. Oh my god. You ate. You ate that up. You just know everybody. You might as well be yeah, famous. That kind of makes sense why he didn't um, want us in that basement door, because is that the way to out? Well, it would make some sense, but he would have it chained up. <laughs> Maybe there's a reason we can look into it if we invited the hiker dude with us. Maybe. I wonder if that was something. I'm not sure, but that was Fears of Fathom, and I'm, it, was, it, was, it was decent. Thanks, Lex, for being here. <laughs> of course, of course. As for me, I am depressed because of... I, I couldn't handle it. Like, you made me play this horror game and I was ready to throw myself into the snow, roll around and start quitting. This is